welcome to the MBS show, episode number 233. I am your host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is Wills. Hello, people of the interwebs. Hello, Wills. Hello, Norman. <laughs> You're chirpy. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. I saw the season finale, and even though it was leaked, but you know what? I loved it. And we got two more episodes, well, technically, if you count today, one more episode of Pwn, and, well, as the news today says, we got a lot more Pwn ahead of us. Yeah, 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 like what? Uh, well, jumping right right through it, alright. <laughs> yeah, officially confirmed, uh, season 7, not switching to Netflix, premiere, and definitely coming, yes, oh. yeah, mm, season 7, mm, that's a surprise, ooh. <laughs> Oh wow! It's just like let me just put another quarter into the machine of Mr. Bones' Wild Ride because it's not ending. <laughs> Yay! But yeah, I mean, season seven. Uh, we some there was some rumors that it wasn't going to be on Netflix, but apparently, you know, that's dud. Which I guess is good because you know, can you imagine the entire fandom getting an entire season of Spawn in one sitting? I mean, <laughs> bam. <laughs> If they did show it on Netflix, they're not going to show the whole 26 seasons. They're just going to show half the season first and work their way with the second, like how it's been going on nowadays. Because if you notice how the trend is, they shown for up to episode 13 or 12 and continue on to the later seasons. Like they have that one month break or three month break and continue on. So it would probably be the same on the Netflix. But Getting back on track, um, it won't be premiering on Netflix, so it will still show as per usual on the Discovery Family Channel. And who has that? Who do you, who does cable or satellite television Some anymore? Some people. Ah. Hey, they have good shows on there, I think. <laughs> yeah, only narcs do. Huh. But um, it's not to say that it won't be showing on Netflix. Once everything settled down, it will come to Netflix like any other Pony episode. In Malaysia, we have only season... One and two, or I'm just thinking one, I don't remember. Which kind of sucks. It's not like that one episode that somehow aired on Netflix the same day it was released on television. That was a weird, that was weird. Yeah, no, no, no comment on that one. But yeah, um, someone asked Hasbro PR and like, uh, here's his response. Uh, apologies for the delay on this. Don't have an answer on the UK scheduling. However, Hasbro can confirm that My Little Pony Friendship is Magic is not switching to Netflix for season 7. So yeah. Okay. Well, hey, but, um, hey, with season 7, uh, we also apparently have three Equestria Girls specials confirmed. Like, okay, so they're gonna pump out a whole season and three of those movies? Uh, I that's... don't know. When they say special, what do they mean by that? Could it be like the shorts that we had? Or is this some kind of 25-minute special episodes kind of deal? Well, you know, if they're just short episodes, I can understand that. But if they're going to make the production crew do three full-length movies, I'd be like, holy crap, that is a lot to ask. It's not that hard. I mean, they have all the assets. Just reuse them. Well, yeah, they have the assets, man. But you still need a, a whole team of animators. So unless they're... Unless they're allowing DHX to drastically increase or outsource their in-betweening. I mean, dude, that, the animation still takes a hell of a lot of work. Heck, ask Crown, Prin- ask Crown Prince what it would be like. Hey, guess what? You get to be in charge of a team that makes a, sh- te- a television series full 26 yeah. episodes and three movies all in one year. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure, she, I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure she'd probably just jump off a cliff. <laughs> yeah. But honestly, um, uh, according to the next news, Future com- uh, further confirmation of season seven. Three Equestria Girl special also confirmed. So yeah, got no idea. So the Equestria Girl special is how do I put this? Fans around the world will be able to enjoy three all new special in 2017, featuring the colorful characters of the Equestria Girl universe. I got no idea what that means. Seriously, what does that mean? Um. They're combining the Equestria Girls universe and the Pony universe? That would be special. (laughs) That would be special, but, you know, we don't know, but that would be great to hypothesize on. You know what, okay, um, fan theory coming out here right now is that the special is going to link to the 2017 My Little Pony movie. Like, it's a bridge between that and this. No? Yes? (laughs) Oh, that actually does sound like a pretty neat idea. Though, it sounds like, uh, from what I read, the 2017 movie is all Pwn 
Nothing but yeah. tone. True, not true. Nothing else. Yeah. On a side note, um, season three of Transformers: Robot in Disguise will show in 2017. So that's cool. If you have been following that show, I have. I don't know about you. Uh, I haven't been following many Transformers shows. I mean, my my Transformers was Beast Wars, and that's all it will ever be to me. Uh, not even the original. Um, no, I was too young for the original. Really? No, not even just some random showing on the TVs or buying the or renting the VHS or whatever it is that you use. No, 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 no. No interest in ha- looking. No, man. Um, I grew up with television in the in the uh, early '90s and the late '90s, so um. I missed the first boat for the uh, Transformers and the Transformers movie. It was Beast Wars that was mine. Mm. And Beast Machines. No further curiosity on just watching anything else except for the movies by Michael Bay. Oh, um I've seen the I've seen the movies, just more so out of morbid curiosity and it was in the it was someone was already playing it in their <laughs> television, so it's like, yeah, sure, let's see what this is all about. <laughs> Enjoy it or dislike it. It's a popcorn flick, in my opinion. It, it's there to just kill some time. I mean, I'm pretty sure if I was a bigger Transformers fan, I'd be a little bit upset at some of the decisions. But at the same time, I do have to say, at least the robot fights are interesting. And some of them, well, I, I'm no one to make a critique of Transformers here, right? The only thing I'm I'm qualified in critiquing is ponies. All right, mm. dang it, Technicolor all right. horses. Yeah, and yeah. maybe some Rainbow Bright here and there. <laughs> oh God. Uh, but still, but still. I, I don't know how to move on to this, but still, on to season 7 news. Um, well, <laughs> confirmation, there's more season 7, and season 7 is in production. When we did air, no idea. We just know that it is going to be airing. Yep, and this Eventually. is by Big Jim Miller himself, the director for season 7. And what you know was that what Big Jim says, Big Jim does. And Big Jim knows what Big Jim knows. And he knows there's going to be season seven. So you listen to Big Jim. Yep. <laughs> but okay, so we got all this season seven. We're guaranteed on it. I, th- I think I think our audience knows, man, that season seven is coming. And they got nothing to worry about except all their famous reviewers to get off their butts and actually start reviewing the episodes. Come on, guys, snap to it. Yeah, we have three news that says that Season 7 will be out. So, yay! That's awesome. I just love the smell and taste of new seasons in the morning. (laughs) Uh, But still, uh, Mm. I, I do hope that in the future seasons or future episodes like in season 7 we'll get more of the power ponies because they seem to be really cool right like how they look like and whatnot. honestly I like war building episodes the most so things that deal with like dragons or griffins or you gotta be a great episode more of these trying to integrate into pony society and just not understanding simple oh (laughs) you know know what just uh, that's not a word Uh, the whole thing right there Yep. <laughs> Alright, you did. Yeah, uh, it's it's like, okay. Yeah. What I'd love to see is just a lot more world building, a lot more uh, characters from different parts, and maybe some callbacks, you know, like to see, hey, how's Gilda doing? Or how's Gabby doing? Or, hey, what happened with the dragons and em- Princess Ember and all that? Maybe, like, the dra- dragons come by, like, uh, hey, we wanted to be a bit more like ponies and not be huge jerks, so let's uh, try and get along. My house is on fire! I sneezed. The entire time, Twilight is panicking because the Princess of Friendship has to deal with this bullcrap. Oh no. But honestly, I do enjoy um, the Power Ponies kind of story where a mysterious magical comic book sucks you into its world and you become the star and you write the stories how it's supposed to be written. And, well, think about it. Suddenly, Spike has Big Mac around with... Discord playing D and D, and suddenly he just shows them the comics, and whoops, they got sucked into the comic world. <laughs> and Discord cool. doesn't have the power to reverse it because in that world, it's a bit different. That would be interesting. Uh, and uh, but then you got to think of the dark side of the whole thing, just like, hey, I found this book it's from the same producers. Oh, really? Yeah, I found it in Rarity's bedroom. Fifty Shades of Hay. <laughs> no. This can't go wrong at all. Oh god, no! But talking about the Power Ponies, uh, it seems that Funko will be releasing their Power Pony Mystery Minis? 
Oh, cool. Or vinyl figurines. Yeah. This is the same one as the... Uh, how do I put this? It's same as the previous mystery minis where those mystery minis are kind of dark or they're black with uh, colored manes and they're the same model as the Funko vinyls except smaller in size. If they're going to be all these mystery little mini characters, you don't know what you're going to get or is it like a blind bag sort of thing? I haven't been able it's, to see them. Uh, technically, um, how the mystery mini works is you'll get a box and inside the box you get a random pony so you got no idea what's inside of it so it's pony in a, box. a blind bag yeah pony in a box so it's kind of a blind bag thing where you have to buy it and open it up and the idea for you is to collect them all and trade it with your friends which is kind of a really good idea problem is sometimes your friend don't want to trade you for your double copy of spike or worse, I've got 15 rarities. Somebody trade me. Oh, yeah, true. Well, somebody would want rarity. Nobody really wants spikes. So, I got 12 spikes. Please take it away from me. Uh, I'm probably sure I could probably just ship uh, the 15 rare, the 14 other rarities over to James Cork and just have him drown in them. <laughs> yeah. Or, uh, wait, uh, if you want spike, you can just go to like someone who's... Uh, Dang it, who, who do we know as a Spike fan? Who do we know indeed? <laughs> oh, great. So I guess it's impossible then. <laughs> <laughs> yep. But honestly, there's a variety of doubles here. Um, not to say that there's multiple copies of the same thing, but there's multiple copies of same character, different poses. For example, you have two Fluttershies, two Applejacks, and two Pinkie Pies. And only one copy of Rainbow Dash, Rarity, Twilight, the Maniac, Spike, and her henchman. The only reason why you have two um, Fluttershy is because one is in her normal pony size and the other is her Hawkout version. Oh, cool! <laughs> yep, that's gonna be fun for it. That's gonna be fun for anyone who does uh, stop motion animation. Just bam! Hawkout Fluttershy. <laughs> yep. Another one is Speedy Pinkie Pie. Well, one is in a getting ready to run pose, and one is just her cheerful, bubbly self. The other is Applejack in her um, heroic, happy pose, and one is a heroic, I'm getting ready to attack pose. So yeah, everything is available on the show notes if you want to take a look-see. And yeah, I would say that this is pretty cool, and... The price I'm guessing for you Americans would be about ten bucks. Hot topic, very mm. edgy. Knowing knowing hot topic, it's going to be twenty. Mm. For this, nah, man, it's kind of small. No, no, dude, that, that, that's that's the staple of hot topic. It's overpriced, chintzy, chintzy stuff. <laughs> really? No, even have, have you been to hot topics with the mystery minis? Um, I've been to hot topic, and I had to leave before I started becoming a bit too seen. Why? What happened? No, no, seen as a style. It's just like, ah. uh, oh gosh, no, I'm starting to get glitter everywhere. It'll never get off. Ah! <laughs> ah, get it off me, get it off me. Uh, um, <laughs> actually, the last time I went to Hot Topic was with uh, Jaded Jinx and uh, some other artists uh, when we went to MLP MSP, and we were able to convince them to go to the Mall of America, the largest shopping center in the entire country, and um, went to a Hot Topic there and uh, found a lot of cool things. But uh, it's actually where, if you follow her Twitter, <laughs> where she got her precious little nanogator was at the Mall of America. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so Hot Topic. You can get a lot of things there. But yeah, I mean, these figurines, though, from, from, from what I'm seeing, though, they look different and it's which is actually kind of interesting from funko is because it's not one of their pop figurines these are unique little vinyl figurines and their craftsmanship looks really cool mm -hmm. and that's something interesting too because a while back i did a news on wheel of fines chibis and this is in a similar vein to them but this is more kind of still still staying in pony form yeah, I, I actually remember those now. But, um, yeah, you're right. These actually seem to retain the proportions or at least the little snoots. <laughs> the little, yeah, their little snouts on there, like little pony style. 
And of course, I actually, uh, of the ones, of all the ones, if we're looking at the design here, can we just talk about how Rarities is the most fabulous? <laughs> yes. Yeah, Rarities is fabulous, but I do like a uh, Hulk out Fluttershy. Like, look at that pose. Like, Ugh. It's just like, okay, we get it. You bulk. <laughs> do you even lift, bro? Uh, I don't know if she can lift any of her limbs, because I'm pretty sure the muscles would be stopping her bones from moving. <laughs> <laughs> uh... But overall, the designs are pretty cool, especially if you see Maniac, yes. Yeah, especially Maniac. Like, that's a cool design, too. Kind of reminds me of Doc Ock, actually, from Spider-Man. Yeah, I, I think the original intent was tribute to a few other characters. um, The Joker, um, Dr. Octopus, and others. Like, I'm not 100% sure who else that she kind of copied. Probably just a hair-based villain. I can't think. Um, I can't really think of any character. Uh, there's pro. You know, this is what we need a comic book nerd for. This is this is what you yeah. should get Silver in on here. He's the comic book nerd. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> but other than that, like, still, this looks cool. Yeah, but man, I mean, designs of these new figures and season seven news. And leaked in the UK season finales and a new episode today. I mean, this is one heck of a week of pawn, eh? Yeah, and if you notice, we're getting more pony news every week. So that's good. That's good for us because we get to report on them. Other than that, like if the hiatus comes back and we have to wait for season seven, oh, that's going to be a long wait. Uh, I got no idea what to do. <laughs> I guess we keep doing what we do every week yeah we'll just offer our own uh critiques or little blurbs on these news reporting articles and then we'll just uh sod off the whole thing and go play overwatch and lose horribly <laughs> oh yeah usually it's because of other people's stupidity yes yes it's never because of us because we're perfect <laughs> No, 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 you, you, do you remember the last time we played? We, we were doing well, but other people were just, oi, oi, oi. Well, that's what you get when you use Blizzard matchmaking. Actually, it gives me an idea. So, people have done, uh, people have already been doing, you know, ponies and Overwatch costume, mm-hmm. but has anyone created for Source Filmmaker outfits for the ponies to wear that are of Overwatch characters? That would be I... interesting. I think so. I haven't seen any of it. If it did appear, it should be on EQD. Mm, true. But, well, hey. Huh. But aside from games and pony news, it just seems to be like it's been a very fun week. Yep. This week has been spoilerific. Like, a lot of pony episodes came out. And as per usual, if you guys have seen New Pony episodes, please don't spoil it for your other friends who have not watched it. Please don't be a jerk. Yes, but keep in mind, folks, that while spoilers are temporary, the hatred of your friends as they come after you in the night slowly to end your life is forever. Yep. (laughs) Like Pinkie Pie would say, forever. But yeah. So, Norman, season seven, probably going to be next year, and the movie is next year, and more Equestria Girls next year. You know what? 2017 what? is looking to be a lot better than 2016 already. In terms of ponies, yes. In terms of ponies, yes. Because 2016 in general for me has been pretty awesome. Overwatch came out, PS4 has a lot of good games, Street Fighter V came out, which I'm pretty happy, and the King of Fighter. 14. Yeah, this year has been really good in terms of entertainment value. Well, it's Life great for value. you. It's great for yeah. you in Malaysia. Over here in America, it's been absolute crazy. Back- That's not a word! Insane, and it's like, how could this year get any crazier? And then God says, send in the clowns. Seriously, man, I've actually seen a group of crow- clowns that walked around our town yesterday. They were bar hopping. I don't, know. With that. I, I don't know what this clown craze is, man, but it's weird. The only clowns I know of is from Payday, and I don't think you want to be around them. No, well, it, it depends on what whose side you're on, to be honest. <laughs> True. I mean, they're, they're practical bullet sponges. 
Uh, well, anyway, um, besides that, uh, we uh, news is over, and if you're listening this far, thank you for joining our insanity, and uh, thank you for supporting the show. Um, honestly, I was hoping to do something new today, but uh, it didn't pan out. So anyway, um, I guess we can hop to the end. So if you guys have any questions, concerns, or suggestions for the show, you can contact us at mbsshowgmail.com. You can also reach us on the Twitters. The show's Twitter account is at the MBS show. As for me, I at Norman Sanzo. I tweet about random stuff, sometimes really random. I, I got no idea myself. Wills, where can the audience catch you? Uh, they can never catch me. I'm always on the run. You'll never catch me alive! Okay, where can they follow you or stalk you? Okay, if they want to do that, you can do that on DeviantArt at willisonondeviantart.com. Or you can find me on Tumblr, where I reblog D&D stories, silly little things, interesting music, and tips on how to improve your writing or line art quality. And if you want to find my writings, you can find me on Film Fiction. And uh, that's where you can all find me. <laughs> all righty then. And also please subscribe and rate us on iTunes, YouTube, and Stitcher Radio. And also like our Facebook page. You can also catch us on PonyvaLive.com. Uh, links will be in the show notes. And also please subscribe to our newest show, which is called the MBS Show Reviews and Discussion Podcast, which is on iTunes and Stitcher Radio. Ever wanted to hear our thoughts on the Pony episodes? Well, it's on that show. But you can also hear it here. But what you really want is to hear the insanity that goes on behind it. Like Silver just being insane with his point of views about something. Or Sapphire getting um, called baby or something like that. It's over there. I don't have anything creative to say this week because it's really good. You should go listen to it. You should go subscribe. Links are in the show notes. Anyway, I have been Norman Sanzo. I have been Will. And we'll guys catch you next week. Toodles. See ya. Bye.